Someone recently commented on Teo Janssen's video on the leg system. It's funny, so many of the, those measurements look so close to particular proportions that it makes my mind itch a little at the fact that they're not. GHI looks like it should be a 345 triangle. ABE, which I'm pretty sure they misread the A and the D, so it should be DBE, looks like it should be a right isosceles triangle. And line segments A, B, C, D, F, and G look like they should all be equal to each other. Yeah, so what he's saying is it really does look like this is an isosceles triangle where these are equal. Isosceles right triangle, and this is a right angle. And then all these lines look like they're equal. So he's saying that this, 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 and all but this, the delta x between the two fixed points of the strand beast would also be equal. So that's what he observed, that these all look like they should be equal, when in fact they're not perfectly equal, and this should be down here. This should be a 3, 4, 5 right triangle, which it does kind of look like this would be 3, 4, 5. That's the only information that he specified for this little test that I wanted to do. He didn't talk about uh, these these lengths or this length, which in reality the most finicky one is the radius of rotation for the crank. Adjusting this by just a very small amount will have a huge effect on the performance of the entire thing. So here's the strand beast in its normal configuration. My numbers don't quite match up. My dimension names don't quite match up. Okay, link one. So I think I made this 46. Yeah, so cross one, he has no opinion about. Uh, but dx is going to be 46 as well. That's the distance between the fixed nodes here. So I'll make that 46. And then, yep, this will be 46. A, A is the hypotenuse of this isosceles right triangle. B is the other leg of that, so that leg is going to be 46. What did I say? A was the hypotenuse, right? So for 46, 46 triangle, if it's a right triangle, then you could use the Pythagorean theorem to say 46 squared plus 46 squared equals this squared which is A. And then so using that we can figure out that square root of 4,232, 65.05. Boom, so that, now that's a right isosceles triangle. What next? C is going to be 46. D is going to be 46. And then now we need, want this triangle down here to be a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So if our 3, 3 to 4 is equal to 46 over what? And that comes out to 61.33. So this dimension here is going to be 61.33 and then the 5 would be 76.66 so this is 76.66 and that actually covers all the criteria from uh, this YouTube commenter who observed observes this and as you can see it's definitely not tearing itself apart it's actually looking pretty good. And then we can mess around with the cross values since those weren't really 
Nothing was said about those. Cross one is 62. And if we make cross two, 72. We get a pretty nice curve, actually. So yeah, there's the answer. And if you are the commenter who's watching this, uh, thanks for your comment. This was an interesting little test to put together. And thanks for watching. Uh, one more thing, if you have any info about the Strand Beast or questions about the Strand Beast, please leave a comment because I'm in the process of like researching this and as you can see, working on making some software for it. Um, I'm interested in trying to replicate Teo Janssen's genetic algorithm that he used to find these holy numbers, as he calls them, the dimensions that give you a good step. Um, so yeah, if you have any info about this, questions, comments, I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.